Okay, so uh, in this video that uh, we are going to derive the the Einstein field equation. So the goal in this video is we want to derive the Einstein equation uh, from a famous uh, uh, action called the uh, uh, Einstein Hilbert action. Okay, so Einstein is basically the Albert Einstein and Hilbert's David Hilbert. Okay, so there is a famous action called Einstein Hilbert. It's one over something, which is I think it's like base uh sixteen uh pi g or some or whatever, right? There is a d x d four x square root of g r. Okay. Uh so this is the so-called Einstein Hilbert action, it's basically the simplest gravity action. And uh, so our goal is to show the following. Our goal is to show if you do the variation on G, that uh, you will get the, the Einstein, uh, the empty, the uh, Einstein field equation in the uh, backwards, in the vacuum. okay? Basically it's this one, okay? And I think it's, uh, I think everyone knows the following, right? So you can easily prove that this is true if only if uh, this uh, Ricci tensor is zero. Okay, uh, so before we start, let me just quickly uh, remind you some uh, remind you some uh, very simple fact. Uh, okay, so uh, the Einstein right, is so basically the quick uh, the quick introduction to general relativity. You start with some metric, and uh, right. So in uh, like Riemannian geometry or uh, pseudo Riemannian geometry, basically you have some metric. This metric give you the 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 distance. Now you can uh, define object called connection. Okay, so this is also called Christopher symbol. So the definition is basically A, B, C. Okay, so it's A, B, C, where basically, uh, sorry, it's, eh, A, B, C is basically uh, half of like G or some uh, contraction index is called S. Uh, now you need to uh, remember it's like symmetrized under A, B. So it's uh, A, S, B, my, uh, plus uh b s a minus uh a b s yeah i think so yeah okay so yeah this is the yeah okay <clears throat> okay uh now you start from here that you can define object called the uh, riemann uh, riemann tensor or the riemann curvature tensor okay so it's basically a b c just say uh okay so a b c d Basically, it's partial B, uh, gamma of, right? So you need to, in order to remember this, you need to remember it's basically BC is like anti symmetric Okay, so you just put every indices to the left, and then C or B, C, D, and there is a gamma, gamma term. Okay, uh, now finally, you can define an idea called the Richard tensor by contract the Riemann tensor by the middle, the middle one. Okay, so C, R, C, A, C, B, you sum over C. So basically, you Einstein notation. Now you can define a final object called the, uh, this is called the uh, Ricci scalar. If I do B, uh, I think it's R, A, B, G, A, B. Okay, uh, so this is the, the, all the, uh, all the uh, process. And once you define R, then, then, then you can like put R here. Right, and uh, the, so let me just write down, right? So minus G here, basically is the determinants of G, U, V. And then there is a take a minus sign. Okay, so minus one times determinant of this. Okay, so a uh, simple example is that you take a Minkowski space, right? So the determinant of Minkowski is that's just minus one. So this is why it's minus one. So you take another minus, take a square root, it's about this. Okay, and uh, so in order to do this, that's uh, quickly do the variation. So the goal is to okay is to do a variation, right? So we need to do the variation on this. Okay. So by the way, uh, this this uh this uh objects uh invariant, right? So basically, it's invariant because you know that uh this is true. If you do the coordinate transformation, basically this is due to the uh calculus, right? Basically, this Jacob uh Jacobi identity. And uh, this Riemann, uh, this Ricci tensor, uh, Ricci scalar by definition is obviously, right? it's not obviously, but it's actually uh, independent. Okay, so uh, we can write down. We can write as this. 
Okay, so uh, okay, so let's do this. So let's say we write as this. Okay, so we have three terms, right? So we have one, two, three. Okay, so uh, so we need to do it one by one. Okay, so let's uh let's do the so three is good three is well well we don't need to i don't need to do anything right so three is already like in terms of like variation of g okay so let's do one okay so it's like simple trend rule right so you know that's basically minus one g half right so half of minus g minus half and then there's a minus nine and delta of this variation of determinant of g okay and uh, let me use a very simple fact, which is maybe you know, I think it's very simple. Uh, you start with some exponential of any matrices and uh, or some diagonalizable matrix, and uh, you do the, uh, I think you do a determinant, okay? Then it's the same as you take trace. And the proof is simple. You take, once you take uh, A to be diagonalizable, then you determine just the product of eigenvalue. And sum over the, the exponential of eigenvalue basically is the trace. Okay. And uh, so I can let, uh, let's say I that uh, exponential a to be uh, a tilde. So I get determinant of a tilde, right? It's basically the uh, something, right? So let's say trace of uh, log of a tilde. Okay. So matrix log. Okay, you take the another log, right? So you get log of determinant of a tilde. It's the same of trace of log a tilde. Okay, so now you do a derivative really variation on a tilde. Then what you can get is determinant of a tilde, right? So this is log. So you get this. It's the same as uh, because trace is linear, right? So you still get uh, you get trace of a tilde, right? So a tilde inverse. Right, okay, a tilde. Okay, so this is simple, right? Hopefully it's not difficult for you, okay? Okay, so in terms of this guy, in terms of trace, basically ask about the uh, a tilde inverse, tilde a. And then it's trace, right? So it's u, u. Okay, you just sum over the uh, indices. Okay, so uh, now from here that everything is simple, we can do this, do it, trivial. So now we can put uh, a tilde to be g. Okay, so what we can get is like determinant of g. So it's g. Uh, times a tilde, right? So in this case, it's g inverse delta g u u. Okay, and uh, now let let me just write down, right? So uh, it's a little bit complicated, but okay. So in order to like cancel this, right? I can take minus sign here. I can remove minus sign here, and then these two cancel will be half. All right. Uh, is it okay? So let me just write down. Let me just uh let me just write down right. So it's half of minus g half. And uh there is a here. Du, 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 g, right? So it's like u u, right? So let me just write down. So minus g inverse delta g uh u u by definition is just g. So g inverse, right? uv is written by g u v. Right, this is definition of the upper the upper indices, right? So it's like G U V delta G U V. Okay, because it's right. And uh, we know that G U V G U V is four, right? So that means that delta G U V G U V plus G U V delta G U V is zero, right? So I can replace this with minus sign G U V minus delta G U V. Okay. So now finally this term become half of minus g half g inverse delta g u u be finally become like minus one half 
uh, square root of determinant g f and uh, g u v delta g u v. Okay, so now this term, uh, we can pull it back to be here. Okay, so and then combine with this. Okay, so let me just write down. So if you combine, you combine right. It once you do the variation, da da da, you get this. Now, uh, right, you can take out square root of g. Right? So you get square root of g, and there is half of g u v, and then there is a re rich ten uh re rich scalar right. Now this term plus another term, which is this. So it's R U V delta G U V, right? And the take a square, take out square root. So everything is simple, right? You get R U V delta G U V, right? So now this is what we want, right? R U V minus half of G U V R, which is what we want, plus some the rest, like some strange term, right? Uh basically this term is square root of G. Uh delta like uh sorry, delta U V. UV. Okay, right. So, so now we the the we we still get this remaining term, right? The, we get we get this remaining term. Okay. So the the, the so there is a something weird, right? So that means that these terms should be should disappear, right? If you know the if you know results, okay, okay. So finally, we need to show so the we finally, finally, uh, we need to show. We need to show something, right? You need to show that uh uh this uh variational on this R U V G U V, this guy is a total derivative. Okay, so this is what uh physicists like to do, right? So if you do the variation, you see a total derivative, then you throw away. Okay. But in, but in this case, that total derivative need to be written as the the this this derivative, right? It's not partial, it's basically this uh directional derivative or like covariant derivative. Okay, uh, so the tool, uh, which is weird, basically using the idea called normal coordinate. Okay, so basically for every P on M, there is a coordinate, a new coordinate, there is a coordinate, uh, such that uh, gamma is zero, okay, um, uh, for any, like for any gamma, so basically A, B, C. Uh, for any uh, A, B, C. Okay, so notice that's on fixed P, right? So you cannot make the derivative, you cannot make the derivative of gamma equal to zero for every point. Otherwise, that uh, the re this, the curvature will be zero. Okay, but once you need, once you do that, and then you notice there is a the trick that if you do the, there is a trick, if you do the partial C of any like uh, matrices, Sorry, uh, basically what, what I want to say is that uh, if you do this guy, uh, uh, let me see, let me see. So basically, if you, I think this is true, okay. No, okay. Because the reason now uh, I can fix all the gamma to zero, right? So I can replace all the covariant derivative to be partial derivative. Okay, so now uh, we have this tool. Okay, so now let's let's uh finish the proof. So let's let's do the proof. Du, 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 du. Okay. Okay, so the, the first thing that uh okay, so notice the following, right? So okay, so uh this guy as we just say, right? So basically it's this. Okay, so rho sigma d o u g sigma v plus this. Okay, so uh, why this is true, right? So this is definition. This is definition, but I can replace the the re I can replace the original uh, partial derivative to be to be a uh, covariant derivative because I choose all the gamma to be zero. Okay. Uh, now if this is true, right? If this is true. That you immediately apply the following, right? Because you know the following, you know that uh, I can now the R is basically this. This is our uh, R. 
right? This is our definition of R because now I make all the gamma to be zero, right? So, but the derivative gamma will not be zero. Okay, so now since we have this, right? So this implies that the delta of this is basically this, right? I can replace derivative to be using the, the you, I can do the same thing, right? Okay, so now uh, I can, I have this. I can do the contraction. I contract this, uh, this, uh, this, the, uh, this mu and uh, sigma. Okay, so I get the following. Oh, sorry. Uh, I do a derivative, right? So I I do a variation. So variation should go go into this. Okay, so I get this. Okay, but uh, okay. Uh, okay. So, okay, so what? Okay, so now uh, if I do this, if I do the, okay, so this is what we have this. Okay, so this implies the following. This implies that uh, this, if we take the, uh, our, this guy, for that with this, right, doing this, and uh, what we can get is this partial mu x mu, where x mu itself is a vector, which is this. Basically, just some calculation, which is a little bit uh, tricky. But basically, the idea is that you, you just write down everything you know. Okay. Okay, so you you, you just uh, doing product with this, uh, answer with this. Now you can write the total derivative. Okay. Uh, so idea is the okay. So after all this calculation, that uh, your variation become this, right? So this is what we have this. By the way, this is called Einstein tensor. Okay, so this is called Einstein tensor. Plus the plus something right plus this. Okay, so and then now this guy is a total derivative, right? So you can throw your weight. Okay. Finally, that uh, if you that var variation now to be zero. That uh, you will arrive this. Okay, so basically this is the proof of the why the Einstein Hilbert reaction uh, give you the give you the the results. Yeah, give you the give you the the uh, the general the Einstein field question. Okay, see you guys next videos.